So first, I'll recommend that artists should um, get business minds on board. Mm. I mean, we have this whole issue of, okay, when I started off, I had my two best friends who liked my songs, they were accompanying me to the studio. Automatically, one became my manager, one became my stylist or my PR, and I'm growing big and I stick to these two people. And even when they are messing up or they have grown their sphere of influence or their skill set, I keep on working with them. But that also makes sure, that also just, um, that only leads to the fact that I get stuck to as far as their skill set and their sphere of influence can take me. Mm -hmm. So at times you should be willing enough to tell my friends that we have walked this far. I could still keep you at this range. And now I've got to move into other things and work with other people. So there is first letting in the business mind to come into these things because I tell people like, you don't go into a boardroom talking with the MTNs or maybe, um, I don't know what, Coca-Cola level of business. And you tell them like, wow, I killed him on that beef song. My bar was hot. No, that's not what those guys want to hear. They want the numbers, they want the analysis, they want the business talk and the strategy. Mm. How do they get to win? And you need to get to people who can talk the talk. Mm. They might not be your friends, they might, you might not even really like them like that. But you like their money, you like the money they will bring on board, so you better like them mm. as long as so. Let's just work and do the business. When I make the money, I go chill with my friends in the hood, my real friends and whatever. Mm. let's focus on the business and just be respectful of one another for what we bring on the table so the the, the, the artist needs to open that door for business people to come in and make things happen mm.